And Lieutenant Governor Fetterman looking to trade his office at the state capitol for one at the United States Capitol. He told me he got into politics to try and end inequalities, and he's looking to do that now in the U.S. Senate. He has gained notoriety in recent weeks for his strong condemnation of Republican claims of election fraud and irregularities, which were never proven in court. Now, to show some statewide, perhaps, likability, he says he's from York, Pennsylvania. Then he moved west to Braddock, where he became the mayor of Braddock for many years. And then, of course, lieutenant governor. He'll be considered a front runner in what will be a crowded Democratic field to fill Pat Toomey's vacancy. Toomey, of course, announcing he's not going to run for re-election. Now, Fetterman has come out in support of a $15 minimum wage, also legalizing marijuana. But he's also been courting union blue-collar voters who have gone for Republicans and President Trump in recent years. There's more that unites us from red versus blue counties in Pennsylvania than what does, uh, divides us. But I'm also very wide eyed about, you know, the current climate in terms of, you know, the, the, there is there is that that tension right now, for sure. And he has gained the endorsement of the United Steelworkers Union. Fetterman already raising over a million dollars. He says the average contribution to his campaign has been $30. Well, and more, of course, on my interview with Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman, making it official, he's going to run for the United States Congress. I'm Barb Rivar, live in Lancaster for WGL News 8.